Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have you guys a little bit up close and personal because we are about to do some chatting. I'm about to do my makeup, get the day going. I'll bring you guys with me. I need to do some baby shower prepping, shopping, mainly for the games of the baby shower. So yeah, I decided to do my makeup and get ready with you guys. Also, it's my first time doing my makeup right here. This black box, which is my door, is really bugging me, like just this black square. So I'm still trying to get my makeup room slash office situated. Please do not mind that. But it is actually pretty early in the day. It's only 11 in the morning. And today's actually launch day. My glasses launched today. Yay! Super, super exciting. So my glasses are now available. I will leave the website linked down below if you guys want to go shop some styles. And if you are new here, hello, welcome. I did collab with Dime for some sunglasses and my collection, like I said, is now available and you guys can shop for it down below. I just got word that Brunch and Brown just sold out. Um, these are some of the other styles still available. So again, I'll link those down below. Guys, I was looking, I was looking, I was going crazy looking for this headband. I always tell you guys, my hair has to be pushed back every time I do my makeup. So let me put my little headband on and we'll get to chatting and makeup. Okay, there we go. I actually like how the headband looks. I've been wanting to do like a hairstyle with the headband, like incorporated, match the headband <laughs> to my outfit. What do you guys think? Anyway, so I'm gonna add a little bit of moisturizer. So after my moisturizer, I always, always go in with my Frankie Rose primer. I rave about this so much. It's my absolute favorite. I cannot, cannot do my makeup without my primer. I am literally out of this one already. I need to open up a new one. I think today's the day that I literally finish this little tube, but, but the consistency of this one, I love so much. Especially on this area right here, which I feel like I have. It covers up your pores so nicely, smooths out my skin, and it gives me a super nice smooth canvas for my foundation to go on top of. If you've been following me for years now, you know I used to never ever prime my face. Like I would just go straight into my foundation. I think I had just not found like a good primer that worked for my skin. It would either make me too oily or I just honestly didn't really see a difference until I came across this one. If you guys have it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'll leave the exact link to the primer down below in the description and you guys can always use my code Less to Makeup on anything Frankie Rose website. So for my brows, since I do have the ombre powdered brows, that's the procedure that I have on my brows. Basically, it's like a semi-tattoo. So right now I have no product. This is my brows. Hello. So I barely even shade them in, like very, very little. Yeah. Oh no, mommy doing her makeup. And then after I add a little bit of color, I'll go in with my concealer. This one is my Frankie Rose Neutral Concealer, which is also the one that I use on my face, fun fact. And then just to clean up my brows, I always like to put a little bit like on my hand and then from here grab it with my brush. I was going to do them off camera, but I just realized I have not done my brows with you guys on here on YouTube in way too long. So let's do my brows. Brows are done. I'm gonna prep my lids with the same concealer. Do a quick eyeshadow and then I'll be back to do my face with you guys. Um, I feel like I can talk as I'm doing my eyeshadow and I want to like talk to you guys about the baby shower, the theme, why I picked that theme and all of that stuff. So let me do a quick little eyeshadow moment and then BRB. Okay, I am back. I went with a green look. Surprisingly, I forced myself to stay away from the browns and do a little bit of a pop of color. So for foundation, I'm also using my Frankie Rose foundation. I'm in the shade neutral as well as their foundation brush number 90. Love this right here. Sometimes I'll do my foundation with a brush, sometimes with a sponge. I feel like it just kind of depends on the mood I'm in. I'm gonna go in with my brush today and my normally around two pump will cover my whole entire face. And if you know, you know, I've been using this foundation for years now. It's my absolute favorite, highly, highly recommended. It is a matte foundation, so it dries up matte, but it is good for all skin types, oily, dry, combo skin. I normally have really oily skin, but through this pregnancy, my skin has actually been really dry which is really rare for me because my whole life i've had oily skin except with this pregnancy and now that my skin is a bit dry on my face um i still love this one and while 
I do my foundation. So my baby shower is in exactly four days. It's this weekend, which is exciting because baby shower means you're towards the end of your pregnancy. You're about to meet your baby. It's like the last little party <laughs> before baby is here. And then after that, like I told you guys, I'm going to go crazy shopping for her because right now I have not really bought her anything besides maybe if I see like a cute outfit or cute bows, but as far as like actual essentials for the baby, I have not bought in anything just because I don't want to double buy. So for baby G, um, I got a lot of stuff from my baby shower, obviously as presents. And then I had already bought myself a lot of stuff for him. So I had like doubles of a lot of things. So I'm just waiting to, so I'm just waiting till after this weekend and I'm going to go <laughs> crazy shopping for everything that uh, the baby girl needs. Look at this foundation. You guys know my skin without foundation, how it looks. And this one literally transforms it. By the way, I'll also leave the exact link to the foundation down below if you guys want to grab it. And they do color match you in their website, which I absolutely love because I know shopping for foundation online can be a bit tricky. You don't want to buy the shade that is not right for you. So they actually have real life beauty advisors on their website. So if you click on their website on the bottom left, you'll be able to chat with somebody that can help you get color match in case you are clueless as far as to what shade you're in. But like I said, I am in the shade neutral. But yeah, anyways, to tell you guys the theme of the baby shower. So the theme is going to be... Da -da 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 -da. Drum roll, please. Pastel butterflies, which, <laughs> if you know, you know. Um, I have actually already mentioned, I mentioned it once before I knew the gender on my Facebook Live. I told you guys that if I had a boy, I didn't know what the baby shower theme would be. But if I had a girl, I kind of already had it all planned out. I'm like, if it happens to be a girl and... <laughs> God bless me with a little female. I knew since the beginning, since I found out I was pregnant, that I wanted for the baby shower to be pastel butterflies. Why? I'm not too sure. But I just wanted it for it to be like colorful and like pretty and like butterflies. So yeah, a lot of you guys remembered that. And when people would ask me what the theme was, I was like, I'll let you guys know on YouTube. And a lot of you guys were like, Liz, you already told us on Facebook Live that that would be the theme if I had a girl. And, and I obviously am having a girl. So yeah, that's going to be the theme. And as I told you guys, I will also be making her baby shower cake which is super exciting because i've never made a pastel butterfly cake before so whenever i do a cake and it's the first time ever doing that theme it's like really exciting because i've never done it before especially because it's for my baby like i can't believe i'm making a baby shower cake for a girl and it's for me like i'm having a girl it's freaking crazy i still can't believe it honestly so yeah i'm excited i already started sketching it i will be baking the whole cake tomorrow and i kind of already have like the day's plan on what day I'll do what, that way I'm not like overly stressed or trying to bake the cake and decorate it. Like I want to have fun with it. I do want to vlog it and make the cake with you guys for a video. My baby shower, I'm having it at 31 weeks. And with baby G, if I'm not mistaken, I had it 35 weeks. So I was definitely bigger, more tired, way more detailed cake. So this one is still gonna be so, so pretty. Well, <laughs> the way that I imagine it, it's just going to be so cute. By the way, I applied my concealer to highlight my face. Uh, Frankie Rose Concealer, also my absolute favorite. I've been using it for years and years. And for this one, I am in the shade Neutral. Guys, for a while, kind of like in the beginning of my, in the beginning, middle-ish of my pregnancy, if you guys remember, my skin was doing so bad. I was like, what the heck? And that's when I low-key started thinking like, oh my God, maybe it, it is gonna be a girl because they say your skin gets really bad when it's a girl because they steal your beauty or whatever. But thankfully, my skin has been doing so, so good lately. I have been keeping up with uh, monthly facials and then also keeping up with like a four to five step skincare routine every night. It's been helping me so much. Okay, so now to contour my face. This is like my favorite combo. I'm gonna go in with my concealer again, but this one is in a darker shade. So this one is in the shade Truffle and I like this one to bronze up my face contour and snatch me up a little bit I set under my eyes wherever I applied my concealer face i'll set it with this powder right here also from frankie rose in the shade olive and just set the rest of my face with it as i set the rest of my face i also like start dusting off the powder kind of like that with a big fluffy brush so also i ended up booking a ballroom a little too big for the amount of guests that we're having um i booked it a while back before i can have like an actual set guest list and unfortunately a lot of our guests aren't able to make it so sadly a lot of our invites won't be able to make it 
probably like half of them will half of them won't which is totally fine fine but now i have this <laughs> way bigger ballroom for the amount of guests that we're having booked so we're gonna have a lot of extra empty space um so yeah i got a little ahead of myself and booked it before even having like a guest list and then it turns out that the place is gonna be like <laughs> a little too big for our amount of guests but for baby g i didn't really plan too many games i think we had like three or four and for this one i'm actually gonna plan games you guys i'm gonna show you guys right now some games that i found on pinterest that i had never heard of before um uh, like diaper pong and catch the baby I don't know some pretty fun games that we can play and then I also need to go get the gifts for the winners I'm thinking gift cards um, I was also looking up like what you can give the regalo to the winners of the games and gift cards was like the main one that came up so yeah that's what we're doing ladies so to finish off my face, I'm going to use my Frankie Rose Contour Palette. This is actually a semi-brand new one. And I love this one for days that I don't want to really liquid contour with my concealer. I just want to use powders. I use this right here to bronze. But right now I obviously use my liquid. So I'm going to use these to kind of just finish it off. Okay, a little bit of blush. Okay, I added a little bit of mascara to my bottom lashes. Blush, highlight, and now to finish off my lips, I'm going to use this matte liquid lipstick from Frankie Rose, which you guys have seen me use a lot. It's one of my absolute favorite to grab and go. It's in the shade Macaroon, and I use this one a lot. This one literally matches any look that I do, which is why it's one of my go-tos. I will also link this down below as well as everything else that I use for my face from Frankie Rose. And like I said, you guys can always use my code less to make up for a discount. Also, I will be adding extensions this weekend for the baby shower, which I'm super excited because I have not had long hair literally since I chopped my hair, which was last year. I was going to vlog it and bring you guys along on me getting my extensions, but I'm not gonna get them done till after this video goes up. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, less to make up. Um, on there i'll try and show you guys how i get them installed and then of course you guys will see um me with my long hair so i'm excited for that i also took up my nails yesterday i have my appointment tomorrow so that i will bring you guys along this might also be my last set if not one of my last sets before baby is here because i don't want to have nails when she gets here maybe just like a nice little manicure but when she is as far as her being a newborn and me giving birth <laughs> i do plan to go in with no nails i feel like i'll just feel so much more comfortable grabbing her and you know just doing the whole newborn mom stage so anyways i'm about to head out i'm gonna go grab some stuff that i need for some of the games for this weekend and then i'll show you guys uh what they look like set them up with you guys so yeah i'll see you guys out there okay guys made it to target so yay they had the babies that i want for the game where they have to like put on the diaper and change the baby so i bought three of these that way three can play at a time so these are from target they had different babies thank god because i didn't want for the baby to be too little to wear the clothes doesn't fit so we have a little baby right here baby girl and then thankfully they have these for the diaper pong so they told us they might not have them but we found them so i think i'm gonna take two in case we want to play like uh-oh <laughs> mom life in case you want to play like two pong rounds at the at a time um and then i'm just going to now buy random baby stuff so they can like price tag everything but the main thing that i wanted to get and make sure that they had was like the perfect babies and then also the boards oh bless you um but yeah i'm so happy we found this and then now to go home and make the games hey you don't belong here <laughs> he looks at the dolls and Okay, so I am putting, I feel like my belly looks huge from there. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's just like everywhere now. Um, but anyways, I printed out uh, right here through my printer. <laughs> Diaper Pong! I have personally never heard of this, like even for Baby G's Baby Shower, I never heard of this game. So I'm telling you guys, um, when I was like looking up, looking up games, this one came out and I was like, ooh, that one seems interesting. Um, for the diapers, you basically just like tie it up and then I folded it and then it leaves it like a little a little cup like this. I wish I had a stapler that way I could staple the diapers, which I don't, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use some tape to put these all around. Okay, ta -da! done putting up the diapers. Okay, so I think the 100 points should go in the middle. And when they play, I'll just have like a little notepad and then count the points. Obviously the winner or whoever makes the most points wins. Okay, there we go. 
go. To finish it off, I ordered, guys, so many butterfly stickers because my invitations, for the most part, I invite people through, I guess, like digital, like texting. I normally send them the invite. But this time, I wanted to have like physical invites. Oh, let me show you guys the invites. So these were the invitations. By the way, I printed, printed them out at Walgreens. And at Walgreens, you can print them out to where there's a picture in the back and in the front, which I thought was super cool. Like you can do double-sided printing. So the, pack, the back picture is just a, a picture from my sunglasses shoot, actually. And then this is the front of the invite. Can they see it? Yeah. Okay, so this is the front of the invite, some butterflies. I love to do my own invites. So fun fact, I did this one. I use the app Bazaar, if you're wondering, to do my invitation. And obviously the theme is, there is a baby butterfly on the way. But point of the story is, I have a lot of stickers left over. So I'm just gonna uh, put some of these all over the board. That way it can also be in theme. Guys, he's grabbing the little baby. Let me see it. Let me see. He's grabbing baby. <gasps> grabbing the baby and he'll no. like pointing at it saying baby baby i feel like once um baby girl is here he's gonna be like so excited he like cares for a little bit and then he's like mm, okay don't care bye bye no you we already have a baby right here we don't need two babies okay my masterpiece is done so can they see the butterflies yeah okay we added some little butterflies to make it in theme very very diy project and then also I printed these right here and then I just taped them around. So it's little price tags. This right here that I bought off Dollar General. So they're basically supposed to guess what everything costs and then whoever guesses the most prices right wins. The baby game is done. I just have to go buy premium clothes because one of the games is going to be for them to dress up the baby, like put a diaper and then dress up the baby fully. But yeah, tomorrow I'm going to bake the cake and get my nails done. So I'll share my nails with you guys once I get them done tomorrow. So it's the next day. I got my nails done. Guys, I was going to do like super long butterfly fly glitter i'll post a picture here of what i thought i was going to get but once i was sitting there i was like you know what let me not because i'm gonna do today actually i'm about to head over there to start a baby girl's five tiered cake and i don't want to be like overwhelmed with the nails and then you know just having to do the cake so i'm like let me do it go with something simple which i love love this set this is like my kind of set a french tip and then i did short almond with with little pearls and i feel like they're still giving baby shower obviously they're not in theme but but why <laughs> but for the sake of the video um i went with these let me know if you guys like them so yeah, i'm gonna close out this video right here i hope you guys enjoyed watching thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys this weekend at my baby shower bye guys hey look at this guy <laughs> why did you just come in here with an ice cream who gave you ice cream <laughs>